Logan here from IAAPA 2019. I'm here with Stephen Greenwood. Hi, Stephen. Hi. Stephen, you are the CEO of Ballast Technologies. That's correct. Yeah, we are the first company in the world that focuses on aquatic virtual reality. Oh. So we make VR systems that work in and around water. And the first product that we ever debuted is something called the VR Slide. Uh, the VR slide is a system that works on water slides and lets people see a virtual world as they're going down a real water slide. That sounds just too amazing. <laughs> so actually, I have already heard of you because, well, I, I live in Germany and in Germany we have, I think we have one of your rides in, yes, in Erding. Erding. Yeah. yeah, tell us a bit more about it. Yeah, Erding was the first uh, project that we ever worked on and we launched that water slide in March of 2018. So it's been open for 16 months. And in that time, we've had 200,000 people pay two euros yeah, exactly. to go down the, the okay. water slide. So the park is very happy. They've made money. Uh, we're very happy because it's open seven days a week, and it's been a big success there. And they're continue, uh, you know, they're going to continue investing in it, adding new content, uh, creating new experiences for people. Okay. So we're really happy with it. That's amazing. So um, for all of uh, our viewers who have never heard of this um, um, water slide park in, in Erding, for example, or anywhere actually. So you go there, you have some fun in the water, and they have these, these normal um, water slides. Yeah. But then there's a ride with your stuff there. Yeah. You, you put on the VR headset, and with the VR headset, you go down the water slide, yeah. and then what do you see? Um, so we, in Erding, we have a couple different simulations. There's a jungle video, there's a space, outer space video, uh, a snow video where you're going and missing uh, dragons and things like that. And that's the idea is that we want people to ride the slide multiple times and try wow. each experience as they go down All differently. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, so the, you know, the way that the system works, uh, just to explain it briefly, is we take a normal water slide, an old water slide, and we put uh, these sensors on the water slide, and we have about five or six sensors that are mounted to the structure of the slide, and those are communicating with the headset as the person's going down. Because that's the problem. With water slides, people go down at a different speed. Right. It depends on how heavy you are, how right. big you are. So we need to know exactly how fast people are moving and adjust the playback of the movie accordingly. All right, yeah. okay, cool. So yeah, I just imagine it must be crazy. They, they go down with different kind of styles, right? So but they are being tracked or how does it work? Right? Yeah, so, so the sensors are tracking them and the nice thing is is that you can kind of tell what's coming up ahead. You can see the turns and everything. You know what to expect. But the physical sensation, I mean, the first time that we ever tried experiments, okay. we were in love with the, the feeling yeah. of it because you get the, the physical motion combined with this magic that you're seeing. And the combination of the two things is it's a lot of fun. It's way better than I ever expected it would be when we first started working on it. Okay. Uh, and it's been very popular and very successful, so we're very grateful for that. I totally want to try this out. So I, yeah. need to, I will go to uh, Erding in Germany yes. and totally go into this. This is the other thing that we do that you guys should check out. Uh, this is underwater VR. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Diver. So we, uh, we make this system where what? people are actually snorkeling in the water and I'm sure you can you have yeah, pictures you yeah. can show pictures um, but people are swimming they have a snorkel in their mouth no kidding and it feels like you're swimming with whales going through shipwrecks um, or floating in space because you're in zero gravity exactly oh this is this is genius <laughs> thank you, no, thank this you. Is genius. Okay, Stephen, tell me, how do you come up with all this stuff? So, yeah. VR is still a niche market, and this is like a niche market in a niche market. It. Yeah. So, tell, tell us a bit more, how did you get to make this? Sure, so, uh, three years ago, I was working in California for the Discovery Channel. Okay. And I was developing VR content for the Discovery Channel. Okay. I was overseeing the department that uh, creates all this VR content. Great place to work. I was learning a lot about VR, trying to network with all of the, the, the people in Silicon Valley that are doing the most. And one night I was watching an episode of Stranger Things. Okay. Season one, uh, Eleven gets put into a sensory deprivation tank, like a water tank. And she's wearing a very futuristic helmet to let her breathe in the water. Okay. And it just triggered this idea for me where I thought, I want to feel like I'm an astronaut floating in space. 
but yeah, in water. Yeah, it makes sense. Right? Exactly, yeah, totally. So I, I, I had a friend who's a hardware CEO, very successful guy. I went to dinner with him that night, and I said, what do you think of this idea? Yeah. He said, do it. Go, <laughs> go do it. So he helped me get things moving just in the very early phases. We built a prototype. We showed it to a journalist, and the journalist wrote an article, and somebody at a water park in the United States saw the article and said, can we buy this headset? Okay, cool. I thought, I've never even considered water parks. Okay, sure, why not? That summer, we went to a trade show to IAPA in Singapore, 2017. And we met this German company, Wiegand Melzer, uh, there. Yeah. And they were super interested in putting it on water slides as well. So we said, why not? Okay. And through that partnership, we were able to start the company and grow this business into uh, a business where we now sell to resorts and water parks all over the world. That's amazing. So if I run a water park, a water park like a, like a normal water park without VR, yeah. I can simply get in touch with you, and then you will help them to make this happen. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we've been really successful in bringing products to water parks that make them money, yeah, right? So they nice. they're able to charge their guests for this product, and we're seeing a, a return on investment within 13 to 16 months from okay. when they install it. So it's a very good value proposition for them. Uh, it's introducing a new type of revenue to these parks, and it's also a marketing tool. A lot of people want to come to these parks right. just to try these experiences. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's, it's been great, and I've loved learning about this industry, yeah. and it's, very, uh, it's a very fun place to work. Cool. You make a great point there, because yeah, I would normally not go to uh, Erding to try uh, the normal slides. Right. Why would I? I have the same stuff also around my area. Yeah. But because of this, I think I will make the trip to Erding to try out this is amazing. It's good to hear. Yeah. So, um, where can I try out the, the diver thing? Diver uh, is currently it active. So interesting. It's in five countries at the moment, but in Germany, it's in Osnabrück, Nettebad Osnabrück, in the north of Germany, and it's in Austria at Lutzmannsburg. Okay. Sonnenturm Lutzmannsburg. They also have a VR slide, so you can do both. All right. Perfect. There. Yeah. Wow, interesting. So it seems like um, you are especially active here in Europe. Are the Europeans love to do these slide things? Or yeah, well, we, what's going we, on? We have, we have the Germans to thank. We have Wiegand, right. Melzer to thank. They've yes. been an excellent partner in helping okay. us sell this product. Okay, yeah. So, Vegan water rights. Vegan water rights, yep. yeah. Okay, they, they are doing the water, the uh, slides. What I will say is that Europe in general, I think, is much more um, interested in trying new things. Really? Uh, especially like water parks, the, the okay. businesses are interested in taking a risk on oh, really? a new product. Okay. In America, everybody wants to see. Oh, where, where else have you done it? You know, like oh, really? we okay. want to see that it works first. But, but you're also like uh, doing lots of uh, amazing things in the U.S. I think, right? True. Yeah, there. We have so many parks. We don't even have like six flags. You know, you know, yeah, like, what's I, going on? I would say our parks are larger and there's more money behind them. Yeah, okay. But your parks are nicer. Oh, really? Okay. I think so. They're okay. more elegant. Wow, yeah. interesting. Yeah. And we have all these exciting VR stuff here. <laughs> wow, so Diver, it seems so interesting as well. So for the for the slides, it makes so much sense. Okay, I paid two euros or what, and I can do it. But yeah. how does Diver work? Uh, with Diver, each session is about five minutes per person. And they usually pay about 10 US dollars to do that experience. All right. So each person's okay. in the water for about five minutes. And then, uh, same thing, we have multiple experiences so people can try different things. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah. Perfect. And then this is a small preview. This is what's coming next. Okay. Um, we're developing this in California at the moment. But this is a system where people hang on to motors. What is this? So you get the, you get the so cool. added physical effect. Uh, uh -huh. Let's see the best picture to show here. Yeah, so this is a this is a photo here. Uh, people are basically holding onto these motors and they're feeling the vibrations and the bubbles and everything. So that's the next dimension. Wow. We're working on bringing that, but that uh, hasn't been installed anywhere yet. Wow, amazing. All right, so now okay. you have one of these. So yeah. these are the headsets that they're going to wear. Yeah, this is the headset for the water slide. Uh, and this is with the added modification from Modicap, okay. uh, where we have a twist lock uh, strap system, and this has headphones, okay. so that people can actually hear sound when they're going down too. But um, this is going to be waterproof. I mean, the headphones. I believe so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is, this is the whole system here. Well, let me show that. So this. These are the headsets that uh, the people are wearing who are going down the slides. 
So very interesting with the headphones. And uh, yeah, they seem to be waterproof. Very interesting. I would love to try this myself sometime. So um, actually, um, what kind of VR headset is in here? So this is like something like a Gear VR or some some kind of. Uh, we we you put a headphone. You, you put yeah, a, a we put phone in inside. Cell phone inside. Yeah. Okay. So so we designed the the, the enclosure of this. Right. Um, because there was a couple conditions that we needed to to meet. Waterproof. Waterproof. Exactly. <laughs> uh, it had to be easy to charge. Okay, yes. Easy to operate for the operators, so they should never have to take the phone inside and out. Right. So we use a Samsung phone on the inside. Okay. And we designed a special uh, wireless charging dock so that the ah, headset okay. just slides on top of the wireless plate. Perfect. And then it sits there, dries off, and it charges at the same time. Okay. And then the, the software inside is all our operating system. Uh, we made it easy for operators to see what level of charge the device has. Okay, cool. So inside the lenses show green, yellow, or red. That says it's full battery, medium battery, or low battery. And then the uh, programs are activated through NFC card. Oh, perfect. So they tap it to an NFC card, it launches the application, nice. and then you Everything go. Everything's just very simple. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. Steven, so nice to hear about your company. It Thank sounds you. so interesting. Thank so, for all of the viewers who now want to change their water slides <laughs> into the VR water slides, yeah. what's the best way to get in touch with you? Uh, visit our website, ballastvr.com, or you can email me directly. I'm S T E P H E N, Steven, at ballastvr.com. Ballast, ballastvr, B A L L A S T. Yep. VR, VR .com. Com. Steven, thank you so much. Thank you very much for being here. And Pleasure. Um, yeah, it was so interesting to hear about your technology. Nice to meet you. All right, so water slide VR and like a diving VR, so exciting here at IAAPA 2019. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And we're going to see each other in the next video. Bye bye.